Welcome back to Heck Edmondson Pavilion. I'm Taylor Soper, sports multimedia producer at The Daily. And I'm Lauren Lemieux, basketball analyst for The Daily. And I'm Jacob Thorpe, basketball columnist for The Daily. And we're here after the UW 75-65 win over Wazoo in the, uh, the basketball version of the Apple Cup. You know, the Huskies scored only 25 points in the first half. Looked like a disaster. And then a guy named Terrence Ross went off. Defense picked up. It was rowdy. Probably the loudest we've seen Heck Ed, heard Heck Ed all year long. So let's get right to the highlights. The first half did not look too good for the Huskies as Brock Modem hit this reverse land just two minutes into the game, giving the Cougars a three-point lead. Shots simply weren't falling for the dogs, especially for sophomore guard Terrence Ross, who was only one for nine in the first half. With 11.23 left to play in the first half, Abdul Gaddy hit this three to bring the score within two for the Huskies. Two minutes later, senior forward Darnell Gant, who was 3 for 5 from the three-point line, hit this three to again bring the score within two at 17-15. But the Huskies just couldn't seem to take the lead as they trailed the Cougars for all but the starting minute and 22 seconds of the first half. With 4.36 left to play in the half, Modem hit this three to give Wazoo an 11-point lead at 31-20, their largest of the entire game. The Huskies headed to the locker room at the half, appearing frustrated and trailing their state rivals by six. But the game turned completely around with about 12 minutes left to play when Ross was called for an offensive foul. Head coach Lorenzo Romar didn't agree with the men in stripes and was teed up for his reaction to the call. I never lost it. <laughs> Carry on. You composed and you did attack the ball. Did you like the way that I mean, the crowd got into it? It seemed like the game really turned to that. That's, that's the first time this year I've heard our crowd like that. When our crowd is like that, it's, it's an unbelievable feeling. An unbelievable feeling for our guys. And our, they, they get so motivated. They feed off of that so much. And uh, when the crowd really got into it, it really helped. You, know, you can't hear the whistle blow. You know, it's pretty loud in it. Whether it was from Romar's excitement or the energy of the crowd, from that point on, the Huskies were a force to be reckoned with. Tony Roten made this and one play to bring the Huskies within two with 10 left to play. After this steal by Roten, senior Darnell Gant had back-to-back -back slam dunks that gave the UW the lead, which they kept for the remainder of the game. Then the Huskies started dropping tray bombs left and right, and it was Ross who led the UW with five threes in the second half and a total of 30 points and 14 rebounds for the game. He topped off his outstanding performance with this dunk with three minutes and 10 seconds left to play, giving the Dogs a 10-point lead at 68-58. He does well things. Uh, he's had multiple uh, amazing plays this season that he, he can do those type of things. He's a freak athlete. So I'm not surprised that he does it. Uh, when he do when he does do it, you know, it amazes us and I'm really, none of us feel like we have to crash the boards because we think he's gonna make it for you know. So it's really it's crazy to think like that, but that's how gifted he is. I like, wasn't surprised that he did what he did that in the practice he does all the time, you know. He was just he, he wasn't like but we knew what he was capable of. So when he did with that, it was shocking to y'all, but in practice he does it all the time and just tortures, you know, the defender, so it just shows how capable, what he's capable of. The UW came away with a 75-65 victory over the Cougars and improved a 4-1 in Pac-12 play. You know, there we've had some big wins here in this building, uh, and some big games, but that's going to be a win that I won't forget. And welcome back to Heck Edmondson Pavilion, and we're here on the floor where we saw a lot of different people step up today. Who'd you see step up the most, Jacob? Well, there were three guys that really stood out to me today, Taylor. Obviously, Terrence Ross, not a whole lot leans to be said. He had 26 in the second half. He hit a bunch of threes. He had a bunch of dunks, including an and one alley-oop. He was spectacular. He had a great game. You know, it's weird to think that a guy who's being projected as a lottery pick next year could kind of have a breakout game, but Ross really did today. But two other guys that really stood out to me, Aziz and Jai had one of his best games as a Husky. It's not going to be really talked about because it's kind of overshadowed by Ross's game. <laughs> But Aziz really stepped up. He hit four or five from the floor. He hit all his free throws. He was solid. He didn't cause any big turnovers. Aziz really stepped up, got him eight boards, did exactly what he needed to do, and really contributed to this win. And the third guy, Darnell Gant, was a big, big catalyst for this win. 
He hit two big threes in the second half. He had back-to-back -back dunks. But more importantly, as Coach Romar told us, he really picked his team up, took charge, said, I'm the leader, I'm the captain, and we're going to go win this game, put him on his back, and then they did it. I thought Darnell was a huge player for the Huskies today. I was ready for the game. I mean, the game was really starting on my college. You know, it was my last time playing the Cougars at home, and I definitely wanted to go out for the victory. And we did, and I'm glad my teammates rallied up with me so we can get it done. Was there anyone else out there, Lauren, that was made it, had an impact on this game? Um, I think I'm going to have to go with the sixth man tonight. The crowd was outrageous. I'm a junior here. I've been to every game for about two and a half seasons now, and I've never heard it this loud in here. And I think the point that really set it off for the Huskies when, when Romar got that technical, the jacket came off, and that was just the point where the crowd got crazy, and the players really fed off it tonight, and I think it led to their victory. Yeah, and as Romar said, he'll remember this one. He's seen a lot of games at Heckhead, but... This one was special. The, the crowd was probably the craziest that we've seen all season. So hopefully for the Huskies, that can continue next week. They host Cal in what probably will be their biggest game of the season thus far. Um, but the Huskies improved at 11-6, 4-1 in the Pac-12. And uh, we'll see you next Thursday here at Heck Ed. Thanks for watching.